Once you are comfortable placing straight wagers, why not try an exotic wager? These bets may be harder to pick, but they offer excitement and the opportunity to pay out big. Because exotic wagers have a minimum wager of $1, you can afford to speculate. The different types of exotic wager are offered only on certain races of the day, so be sure to check the race schedule before placing a bet. Now let's take a look at the list of available exotics. The Daily Double. To collect, you must pick the winners of two consecutive races. The Exacta. To collect, you must pick the horses that finish first and second in exact order. The Trifecta. This is similar to an Exacta, except you must pick the horses that finish first, second, and third in the exact order. This is a challenging wager that can yield large dividends. The Superfecta. Again, this is similar to the Exacta and Trifecta, except that you must pick the horses that finish first, second, third, and fourth in exact order. Expect big payouts if you score a Superfecta. The Exacta, Trifecta, and Superfecta bets can be played straight, wheeled, or boxed. Playing a straight Exacta, Trifecta, or Superfecta is the easiest way to play. Simply pick one horse for each finishing position. However, if you are unsure about how a horse will finish, you can wheel the bet. Wheeling the bet allows you to select multiple horses for each finishing position. Wheeled bets can get expensive fast, as effectively each horse you add creates another combination to bet upon. To box an exacta, trifecta, or superfecta essentially creates multiple bets that will pay out regardless of the order the horses finish in. Finally, let's look at the pick three, pick four, and pick six bets. These exciting wagers offer excitement and the opportunity to win big. The pick bets are an extension of the daily double. So for the pick three, you must pick the winners of three consecutive races. For the pick four, you must pick the winners across four races. And for the pick six, across six races. That completes the Placing Exotic Wagers tutorial. Happy wagering! This is the pre-race paddock screen. Here, you have an opportunity to view the runners before the race begins. The three-tab information panel displayed on the right-hand side of the screen allows you to analyze each horse's form before placing a bet. The info tab shows general information about the horse and the historical statistics of the jockey who will ride in the race. The life tab gives a summary of the horse's race record categorized into dirt races, turf races, and the lifetime total. Each category shows the number of starts and the number of first, second, and third place finishes, as well as the purse money earned. The Life tab also shows a speed rating for each horse. Speed ratings are given in the range of 0 to 100 and are an average of all the horse's attributes. Speed ratings are a useful gauge for comparing horses, but do not bet blindly on the highest rated horse. Instead, use the more detailed race record found in the Races tab to discover more about a horse's most recent racing performances before you place a bet. The detailed race record gives information on the last 10 races run and includes facts such as race location, distance, and the surface, as well as timings and calls at the quarter, half, and three-quarter mile and finish markers. This completes the Reading Form tutorial. Good luck and good racing! With its interactive racing mode, NTRA World Thoroughbred Championships 2005 allows you to experience the thrill and excitement of racing a horse. You are in complete control of the horse and jockey. The result of the race is in your hands. Intense focus is required as you wait in the stalls for the race to begin. The faster you react to the gates opening, the better start your horse will achieve. As the race progresses, you can urge your horse on, rein it in, or guide it left and right to get the best possible position with the pack. The display in the top left corner shows your horse's remaining stamina, its current speed and position within the pack. 
In order to get the best from your horse, try to maintain the horse's preferred position within the pack. Your current position is indicated by the horse icon and your preferred position by the arrow. As you approach the final stretch, the whip icon will appear. The faster you react to the whip icon, the more your horse is urged on. Many a race is won and lost in this final stretch. With NTRA World Thoroughbred Championships 2005 Quick Race Mode, you can also compete head-to-head -head with a friend, both controlling horses of your choice. In this two-player mode, should one player's action cause the other player's horse to drop off the screen, then the dropped player will lose control of their horse for a fixed period of time. That completes the interactive racing tutorial. Happy racing! Placing wagers on races is simple, fast, fun, and a great way to make a little extra cash to finance your stable. To place a wager, simply select the Bet button on the pre-race paddock screen. Placing a virtual wager in the NTRA World Thoroughbred Championships 2005 works just like placing a wager using the real-life tote machines found at the track. First, you select the race number you wish to wager on. Next, choose your stake amount. Next, you select your wager type. We'll discuss the different types of wagers a little later on in this tutorial. Now select the horse or horses you wish to wager on. And finally, confirm your wager. It's that simple. You can review any place wagers by selecting the Bet Info button on the pre-race paddock screen. The outcome of any wagers placed is given after each race. Now that you know how to place a wager, let's look at the different types of simple wagers available. The win bet. Your horse must finish first to collect. The minimum wager is $2. The place bet. Your horse must finish first or second, but you only collect the place payout. Like the win bet, the minimum wager is $2. The show bet. Your horse must finish first, second, or third, but you only collect the show payout. Again, like the win and place bets, the minimum wager is $2. The win place show bet, or across the board, as it is also known. Here you wager on a horse to win, place, and show, and it is essentially three bets in one, therefore the minimum wager is $6. If your horse wins, you receive win, place, and show payouts. However, if your horse finishes second, you receive the place and show payouts. And if your horse is third, you receive the show payout. This completes the Placing Straight Bets tutorial. Happy wagering! This is the main stable screen, the heart of your racing operation. From here, you can manage your racehorses by entering races, choosing training strategies, or even breeding new horses to create the next generation of legends. Your stable can hold up to six horses at any one time. You can cycle through the horses in your stable by using the L1 and R1 buttons. As you view each horse, the details of its pedigree, statistics, and race record can be viewed in the three-tab information panel. You can move between the three tabs by using the controller's D-pad. Along the bottom of the screen are a series of buttons. These buttons take you to various subscreens. Let's look at them in turn. Firstly, you can access the training screen by selecting the Train button. This is the training screen. Between races, you have the chance to influence your horse's development through the use of training programs. Each of the available programs can improve specific attributes of your horse. However, the amount that a horse can improve is limited by its pedigree and potential. To set a horse's training program, use the L1 and R1 buttons to select the horse you wish to train. Then select the desired training icon in the training panel using the D-pad. A description and the cost of the highlighted training program are shown at the bottom of the screen. When you are satisfied with your selection, press X to confirm your selection. Winning races is the key to a successful stable. To enter a horse into a race, press the 
Enter Race button. This is the Enter Race screen. From here, you can select the horses and assign jockeys for next week's race meet. To enter a race, first use the L1 and R1 buttons to select the horse you wish to race. Then select the race number you wish to enter by using the D-pad. As you navigate the list of races, you will see the race entry conditions for each race appear on the Race Information panel. You will also see an associated cost that accumulates through each stage of the race entry process. Races that your horse is not eligible to participate in are grayed out and cannot be selected. Once you are satisfied with your race selection, press X to advance to the Jockey Selection. The Race Information Panel has now been replaced by the Jockey Information Panel, where you can view the jockey's record and cost. To assign a jockey, use the D-pad to select a jockey number from the jockey list. Once you are satisfied with your selection, press the X button to confirm your choice. You may also repeat this procedure to enter other horses into races or simply press Main Menu to return to the main stable screen. If your stable is performing well, then perhaps one of your horses will win a cup in one of the season's prestigious races. To view your cup wins, press the Cups button. This is the Cups screen. Here you can view your stable's prestigious cup wins. Use L1 and R1 to cycle through the cups in your display cabinet. When you are finished admiring your trophy hall, press the Done button to return to the main stable screen. Another essential part of stable management is staying abreast of the latest news developments. To view recent news, press the News button. This is the News screen. The news screen gives you up-to-date information regarding your stable. Use L1 and R1 to cycle through the current news pages. Each news page covers a different topic. Here we have your horse's qualification status for the Breeders' Cup, your horse's race performances for the previous week, any arrivals and departures in your stable, and finally the race schedule for the next week. When you are finished reviewing the news, Press the Done button to return to the main stable screen. One way to bring fresh blood into the stable is to breed a new horse. You can breed a new horse by selecting the Breed button. This is the breeding screen. Here you can select a sire and dam to breed in an attempt to produce an offspring that takes the best elements from both its parents. Potential sires are shown on the left and potential dams are shown on the right. The cost to breed is shown in the Finance panel at the bottom. To breed a horse, you must first select both a sire and a dam. Once you are satisfied with your selection, press the Breed button and confirm your action. The view will now change to show your new horse on the main stable screen. Just as breeding adds a horse to your stable, so retiring a horse removes it from your stable. To retire a horse, first press the Retire button then confirm the action. The horse has now been removed from your stable and its retirement value added to your finances. When you are finished managing your racehorses, you can proceed to the next race day by pressing the Race Day button. This completes the stable management tutorial. Happy racing! Cup World Thoroughbred Championships. Eight races, eight world champions. One unforgettable day.